Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shirts right here at the Rant and Share. Smoke me another lucky strike. Certain world's problems out. Took everything I had just to roll out of bed today. Not feeling it. I'm in the pain. But life will go on. Whether I want it to or not. Uh, I don't know if part one's going to upload to this, but we shall see. My, my phone is being a little fucking semen demon today. Uh, seems to want to betray me around every turn. Um, need to clean my screen for whatever reason. My hands get sweaty. Apparently that's part of being a vodka-based life form is we sweat corn syrup sometimes. But no worries of that happening again anytime soon because we're broke until payday. And that means I get to be a grumpy fucking dickhole because I can't sleep. But I digress. Uh, one of my friends, a friend of the channel, a uh, gun friend, a uh, fellow Pacific Northwesterner, Hobo Factory brought this story to my attention uh, after I was giggling my my uh, psychotic little ass off about uh, the 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 hay forking of doom yesterday. Oh, that that just made my day. To stab to death with a hay fork, man. But this one's just as amusing. So buckle up, buckaroo. So. uh... I think this happened in Portland now. I, I could be mistaken. I don't know. You'll have to ask my uh, Broken News Gun Channel correspondent, Hobo Factory. Uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think this happened in Portland. A hooker, and, and I kid you not, a hooker named Premium, okay, tried to attack some random woman with a hammer. And the response to this was... Yes, you guessed it, folks. The mighty Smith & Wesson. And uh, one thing led to another. There was a bit of shoosting, and uh, a hooker named Premium got a little bit leaded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm making a joke about a shooting involving gad, you know, gasoline. <laughs> I'm sorry, but motherfucker, how stupid can you be? Like, if you come after somebody with a hammer... And said person has the mighty Smith & Wesson. Who do you think is going to win that fucking discussion? Now, I'm not saying I wouldn't take a hammer after something if it, you know, it resembled a nail and needed a good pounding. But, I mean, you know, blunt instruments and uh, manual operated weapons such as uh, knives, bats, bricks, bottles, hammers, sticks, you know, all form a matter of bludgeoning and stabbing implement. They're kind of a last resort weapon, or for Sneaky Pete stuff, like, uh, you know, taking out a sentry quietly. <sighs> what the fuck do you think's gonna happen, man? You're a hooker, your name is Premium, you get into a dispute with another female, you swing a hammer at them, and then they shoot your ass dead. And you become leaded, like gasoline used to be back in 1970, go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> How fucking dumb do you have to be? Why do I have to keep saying the quiet part out loud? If you fuck around, there's going to be an equal to or greater response to find out. That's the natural order of things. That's why human beings have this magical thing called an off switch inside of our bodies, okay? That means when you get enough around center mass and cause some chaos and trauma and you start leaking like a sieve, eventually you go the good night. You're forever asleep. The same as if you get a couple of rounds in the fucking A box inside the head, right? The, the little T, you know, you hit the apricot, and they drop like a sack of potatoes and shit their britches before they fucking die. What do you think is going to happen? Why do I have to keep telling people how stupid they are? Do I have to do this every day? I enjoy doing it every day, if we're going to be honest about it. But... I do, I do love me a good Darwin Award. You know, it makes the day better. Like people up here in my part of the world, everybody's got a gun. Like, even kids under the age of 18 can carry a handgun here if supervised properly by an adult. You know? Up here, little Timmy or Billy don't hit you with their purse. They pull out their Wonder Nine and put a few holes in you. And would you believe we have almost no fucking crime here, aside from your petty doper shit and drunk people and, you know, your average village idiot. You know, granted, my village has a few more idiots than uh, our daily quota of it, but, you know, 
for the most part, they leave us alone here. <sighs> but between trying to carjack a pregnant lady and catching them out the fucking hard way, the hay forking of doom, and now a hooker with a hammer. You know, life's glorious, man. These wonderful events just keep happening with stupid people in stupid places because of stupid shit. And once again, the mighty Smith & Wesson ends the argument with positive outcomes. So you know what? While I joke about being sponsored by Lucky Strike and sometimes cheap liquor, uh, maybe Smith & Wesson would like to sponsor me. But don't send me a Hillary Hole Smith. Uh, I absolutely detest those things. In fact, my, my favorite thing to do when I bought a used Smith & Wesson and I found out it had a Hillary Hole was to drill it out and then plug it. Yeah. Convert it back to its former glory. But if you would like to see me sponsored by Smith & Wesson and Lucky Strike so we can continually verbally abuse the internet, then hit the like button and subscribe and share and comment and do all the wonderful things. And if not, you know, maybe you're on Team Glock. I like me a long slide 17. I've always wanted one. Never had one yet. Did have a long slide 21 lots of years ago. And I, and I adored that little gun. But as always, shorts need to eat and cigarette need to smoke. Need to get mom out of bed and get my disheveled ass in the shower. And uh, until we meet again, if you're a hooker named Premium, apparently you've been eating some shorts. And uh, have a wonderful day. Go fuck yourself and bye.